Israel has forgotten his maker. It's the same for every sinner. When we sin, we separate ourselves from God, our maker, our creator, our father in heaven. And this God knows us. He knows our frame. He knows that we are like dust. He's put up with us. He's been patient with us. He's been long-suffering with us. He's allowed us to be wayward. He's allowed us to go our way, our separate ways. He's allowed us to do what we've done. He's permitted it all in his righteous permission. But yet he wants us to know that we've, we've sinned against him. We've forgotten him. We've severed ourselves from him. Why? Not that we would be exiled forever, but that we would come back again Come, let us return to the Lord. He's our maker. He's the one who gives life. And he's demonstrated that, that he comes to us. He doesn't wait for us to come to him. He comes to us because he sent his own son. These very same Israelites who were so rebellious, he would send his son for. He came to his own, yet his own received him not. But yet for those who did receive him, he gave the right to become children of God. Children not born of blood or the will of man, the will of the flesh, but those who are born of God. And the word became flesh and dwelt amongst us. And we've seen his glory, the glory of the only begotten Son of God, full of grace and truth. This God reminds us this morning, he proclaims to us, he calls us, he invites us back to himself. The God of love, the maker who formed Israel, but formed Adam, who formed all of us so perfectly, so, so intimately, so personally breathe into us the breath of life, yet we've rebelled, we've forgotten him. He calls us back to himself for life. Come to Jesus Christ and find life. Find restoration, find reconciliation between God and you, and also begin to find reconciliation between your fellow hum human being who sinned against you. It's only possible in Jesus Christ to find in him the one who's made us, the one who loves us with an everlasting love, and who shows us that in Jesus Christ, his son, our beautiful Lord. Let's pray.